Been rocked by the death of a competitor. A driver in his 70s was killed when his car veered off the road near Exton in the state's north. The navigator of the car was also injured in what was the second fatal crash in the event's history. Early on day two of Target Tasmania, the new Porsche bought especially for the event was racing near Deloraine. The car crested a small hill before losing control and spearing off the side of the road. At about 9.14 this morning, a Target competitor on Porters Bridge Road as at a high speed collision uh, with a tree. 71 year old John Mansell from New South Wales was killed by the impact. 26 year old navigator Tristan Catford from South Australia suffered serious neck injuries and is in hospital. It's the second fatal crash in Target Tasmania's 22 year history. We've had a tragic accident occur as part of that rally and I'm sure that the organisers will be looking very closely at what happened, how it happened and how you can try to mitigate that risk into the future. Race organisers will work with police to piece together what happened. Investigators are looking for any footage of the accident. A lot of the cars now carry onboard cameras so we're certainly looking into whether that is available to us. It's not known what effect the accident will have on how the event is run in the future. It's unclear how fast the car was travelling. It could take police crash investigators weeks to determine exactly what went wrong. Certainly in, in here the, the road was damp when we arrived. Whether that paid any impact I don't know. Other competitors face the challenge of keeping their minds on the race. The moment you think about that stuff when you go over these blind crests you, you, you can't be second guessing yourself. It's always in the back of your mind. These sorts of things are pretty rare but they're just, just devastating. The rally will continue and finishes in Hobart on Sunday. Jonathan Gould, ABC News, Exton.